Penny Jane Love here, bringing you a wig review from Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. Today I'm doing a wig review on Kate by Norico in the color Raspberry Ice. I really like this Kate a lot. Um, she is a fringed bob with razored edges and kind of flipped up uh, ends in her. She's very layered. She's definitely... She's got shorter layers than Reese. Um, she's longer in the front than she is in the back. She's pretty short in the back. Now on the permatease, again, you're gonna find a lot of permatease here in the crown. And I think that the permatease that's in Kate is very similar to the permatease that's in Jackson and Reese. Um, there's some permatease here too on top under that closed cap underneath. There, there is also some permatease on the sides, but it's not a lot at all. Um, I don't think that the sides are have as much hair on them as as what Reese has. So, but um, and I don't think that the sides are st are overly dense either. I think they have a good density. Mostly, most of the permatease you're going to find on Kate is here on top and here at the crown. Kate is a part of the Naturally Alternative Hair Collection. Kate does not have a lace front. Again, she has that standard machine cap. Uh, and I've mentioned this before. I don't think that this would be, this is kind of my one complaint with Kate is, it seems like to me, you know how I've told you guys that Norica does a really good job on their, uh, with their standard caps of kind of placing the fibers over the hairline so that you can't really see it. I do feel like you can kind of see that blunt um, hairline a little bit with Kate. And I don't know if it's just this piece. I'll have to try on that one again and look at it because it's something that I just noticed. Most of the time, even though Noriko uh, has a lot of styles that don't have the lace front, they do a really good job of placing the bangs kind of over that hairline. And, and, does, and it does a really good job of hiding that hairline. I just feel like I'm seeing it a little bit more on this Kate than I've seen on some of the other ones that I have. But I may just be able to fix it and get it to look a little bit better. But right in here is where I'm talking about. So um, she has a left, she's parted on the left. And you cannot move that part. Again, the... the um, they say that this is the average size cap. It's it's nice and snug on me, and but they do make large as well. The fibers are synthetic. They are not heat friendly. And Kate weighs about two and a half ounces. So Kate is not heavy at all. I do think, again, Kate is a little bit warm. I think part of it is because, of, you know, it has that permatease and is more dense. And I think these caps are just a little bit warmer. Now, in the winter time, it doesn't bother me at all because I'm bald, so I like to stay warm. Um, and I don't, I think with Kate being so short, I don't think that she would bother me in the summertime either, but I do like to let you guys know that it may not be the coolest wig in the world, um, but since it is short, that does help a lot in keeping it cool. All right, let's talk about the lengths next. Okay, let's talk about Kate's length. So, Kate's bangs are go up to six inches and maybe even a little bit longer my face from my um, hairline to my chin is eight inches and if you look here it's like this piece here you know goes all the way down so i definitely say the bangs are pretty long up front um all the information i read that they were six inches i didn't measure them but they're definitely long and going down pretty low on me. The sides are, I'm sorry, the crown is 4.75 and the nape is three and a half. I'm going to show you this side. See those long bangs there. I love the back. I love the way the nape kind of hugs my neck and lays up close against it. So, okay, guys, let's talk about this color. Raspberry Ice. It has a medium brown base uh, mixed with a, aub a medium auburn. 
And then the highlights are a copper and the blonde highlights. And the highlights are chunky. They're not really well blended in. Um, they're not like symmetrical or equal. They're kind of different sizes. You've got like a skinny swath of uh, blonde there. And then you look over here and you've got kind of like a wider a swath of highlight there. So, you know, um, I like how they do the highlights on it. Okay, let's talk about Kate's cap. So Kate has the very same cap as uh, the last three wigs that I've reviewed, Reese, Kate, uh, Jack, uh, uh, Reese, Haley, and Jackson. Kate has the very same one. Standard machine made cap, has kind of like this lace closed top. And I do feel, you know, it feels pretty billow billowy at the crown and here on top, has a, quite a bit of permatisse on top. Uh, it does have the open wefting to help keep her a little bit cooler. You do see some permatisse there on uh, some, which that permatisse is kind of like the crinkled shorter hairs that they put in to both give it volume and to kind of hide the wefts. So, you, you know, I see some crinkled fibers there on the side. It's not a ton. I don't think that there is a ton of permatisse on the sides. Uh, the standard, the, uh, the standard machine cap on a Noriko brand does not have an extended nape. I do prefer extended nape, but this is an uncomfortable. Also has the hook adjusters um, so that you can tighten them if you need to. You probably don't need to unless you have a really small head. And um, I prefer the Velcro adjusters better, but you know, they do stay in place. I haven't had any problems with them. Also has kind of like these lace colored ear tabs. They do have metal stays in them so you can cinch them in close to your head and uh, it stays there. No lace front, you know, just a standard front. And I do, you know, they do usually do a really good job. Like you can even see some crinkled hair there at the hairline. So the permatease does come all the way down. Again, you know, I don't think it's too, too much. I think it's okay. So, all right, let's talk about how to style her next. Okay guys, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about styling Kate. So my glasses fit under Kate. Now I will say that the ear tabs do come all the way down to the top of my ears on both sides. So I do have to put the stems of the glasses underneath those tabs, but I didn't have any problem doing that. Um, I think a hairband goes really cute with Kate. I would probably wear with a hair hairband as well. But I don't think there's a ton of other styling options beyond that. I'm not sure that I would want to put these bangs back any just because of how that hairline I feel like is kind of noticeable a little bit more. And um, I don't think Kate really needs a lot of styling. I just think she's already just super cute and I just don't think she needs a lot of styling. So um I don't know what else to suggest to you guys on the styling part of it. Now, it might she might be cute, like maybe pinning, putting a cute little, I don't know, clip in her right here just to kind of add some bling to it. But I don't know that there's a lot of styling options for Kate. So I do think Kate would look great with round diamond heart oval oblong or pear shaped faces. Thank you so much for watching this wig review. This wig review was brought to you by Lori Powell, the owner of Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. Lori's Wig Boutique is located at 13980 Gudera Drive in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Lori's phone number is 909-803-0310. Lori's website address is lorries-lemonade-stand.com. And you can email Lori at lori at lori's-lemonade-stand.com. Lori does make appointments. She spends a really nice, good, long time with you, teaching you about wigs and letting you try them on. So be sure to give her a call. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Bye -bye.